I just started to grab it every time I was running. I'm gonna grab Old Glory and I'm gonna I'm gonna get out there and do it with pride in my heart. Felt a very emotional uh, connection to it because I work with a lot of veterans, specifically in the Ranger Regiment. I never served, but I'm running for those that did. Hey everyone, Jesse Kirsch in the Chicago suburbs. Today we're talking about Mark Palmieri, a veterans advocate who goes on his daily run with the stars and stripes on his shoulder. Originally it was preparing for an event and eventually it became literally a conversation piece where neighbors would start to, you know, they're honking and they're cheering and, uh, and my kids, you know, to be an example for my family. Palmieri says he works with veterans, he knows veterans, they're in his family, they're his friends, and, and he wants to be looking out for these folks. I've been directly and intimately involved in, you know, the special operations veteran world in their transition back to civilian life. Our emphasis is building that mentor network. So when, when a guy or gal does get out, you know, there's, there's people around them that uh, they know, they trust, they can reach out to at any time. Can we think of, if we can do that? Many of the other issues that, that, that veterans, uh, that everybody deals with, uh, are much easier to, to tackle. Palmieri hopes one of the takeaways people have is increased awareness for veteran suicide. I hear a lot of, you know, you know, thank you for your service. And I have to very quickly identify that I've never served. And um, that's something that I hold in a very high regard. And, uh, and it's become now a conversation point around, you know, veteran suicide awareness in honoring our fallen. Having the awareness out there for people to understand that the resources are needed to try to figure it out, you know, is important. It's got to be, you know, it's got to be kept top of mind. It's people like Mark who didn't serve, who are, who are willing, who haven't had the, the shared experience that we had, that are willing to go out and bring to light, you know, such an important issue. Those are really, really special people. Paul Murray says he's been doing this for years, but during quarantine, he's tried to make it almost a daily occurrence, anywhere from three to five miles running with the stars and stripes on his shoulder. So if I choose to carry a large flag and I have a fellow American, regardless of uh, color, race, creed, that disagrees with me, um, although I may disagree with them, I love it, I respect it. I think it's, I think it's important. Uh, maybe it starts a conversation where we can have a discourse and talk. I hope more people you know, buy into it and, and it's viewed as a positive thing.